Dragon Con, Crispy here in the loft of the Marriott, and I've got quite the collection of people with us. We've got Paul McGinnis Hello. and Victor Yerrit. So you? you might not necessarily recognize their faces, and that's perfectly fine. These guys, in, for, in my personal opinion, are some of the coolest puppeteers that you can honestly see out on the market. So guys, thank you. Thank so much for making it out there. Thank you, Crispy. Pleasure to meet for you, sir. not introducing me. And what is your name? Everybody. Actually, you know, we have never been introduced before. Uh, I'm the, I am the evil chef. The evil chef, everyone. I do. I am damaging the world through culinary means. Why are you so evil? Because I was, well, I had a brain face when I was born, and people made fun of me. It's part of my backstory. Haven't worked it all out yet. <laughs> all right. Brain face. Lots of salt in the food. But, I, but I'll tell you one thing, you're right, that nobody knows who, who these guys are. <laughs> That's no doubt. Wow, I'm sorry. You, you, you make the life sound so depressing. But, I, but you, you guys seriously have been involved in a lot of fantastic projects throughout the years. Uh, what's some stuff that you guys, let's just, I'm going to be honest with you. You guys have done so much that it's even hard for me to put it all together. So what so would be... You don't be, know who they are either. I do, do no, you, I do. Crispy? You have this no is idea. I'm walking Wish, off Let's set. do the interview for him. So come talk to me. <laughs> I'm saying you guys have, have had this, such the collection of stuff here, and then you're still continuing in this trade. What would be something like up, up and coming? Do you guys have any big works? I know you kind of do more of like you know, the, the secondary and the hands and things like yeah. that with characters. Uh, well, I've, I've worked on Sesame Street uh, on and off for yes. years now. and um, Never heard of it. That's a new show to me. Uh, and the next season is coming up and shooting in a month or so. Oh. Um, you know, I've worked on The Muppets, and Victor and I have worked on a lot of shows together as well, uh, Crank Yankers and Warren. That's the true, that's we true. just did a show called Felt on Logo, right. which uh, I think is airing now, maybe? Right. That, that's, the, that's the show where they uh, have the recordings. It's like and, Crank uh, Yankers, yeah, but it's actually therapy The therapy stuff, I've been seeing some of that. So I have it's actual play. couples therapy that they record uh, of actual couples and therapists, and then they added it down, and we acted out with puppets. So I'm not gonna lie; it's one of the things when I heard the concept, I was like, "This is one of the most greatest, disgusting things I've ever seen." It's, it's like client privilege, pri you know, client pri privilege. I can't even talk right client now. Privilege. Client privilege. It's who right. Words who are needs it? Crispy. Speech, English Saying failure. Words are hard. I'm trying. It's the brain face. It's really making me nervous. It's a condition. I didn't choose to have a gigantic brain. That's I'm a on the, for, the, for the face. I'm deformed! Uh, I'm deformed, Dragon Con! Deformed! Sorry. I, yeah, it's fine. I feel Some like you're more bitter than deformed. I might be. <laughs> it's okay. It's uh, a direct relation of things. So with, with I mean with that show in particular, you know, that's one thing, you know, you, they've got the script, you guys act out the scenes. Yeah, typically, I mean I think the shows that are probably the most fun for us are ones where we're doing the providing the voice and doing a character. But you do have these shows crop up, which are lip sync shows like Crank Anchors mm -hmm. and Felt, and The Book of Pooh is also that way. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. And uh, Paul and I worked on all. Yeah, all it's, it's, it's it's interesting thing for me with puppeteering to have lip singing, you know, to, to, to have, you know, like, you're just acting out the part and then having that, well, because I know there's weird. a lot of passion. If you don't lip sync, then the puppet just looks like this, which is weird. It's like you're reading my brain. It's like an internal monologue. Or it's a it's delay. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if you do it late, then it just looks weird. Or like you're a bad puppeteer. puppeteer. No, that's fair, that's fair. Puppeteer. Guilty, guilty as charged. Puppeteer? Puppeteer. <laughs> puppeteer. Hi, I'm Brainface. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Throw in your voice. We've been doing it for a while. It sounds so perfect. It caught it. Um, so you guys are doing a lot of, obviously, with our puppeteering track here. Yeah. Uh, so you guys have uh, the Puppet Slams coming up on Sunday. Are you guys involved um, also, also like some of the, the improv puppet shows coming we up are. as well? In fact, that's tonight at 11.30. Um, there's also, we're doing a panel called How to Make Love to Your Puppet. Interesting. Um, we're doing one called- well, We're doing one called How to Not Cry When You're Alone. Uh, we're doing I, one- I will be there at that one. <laughs> we're doing one called Stab Your Friend, Blame the Puppet. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Actually, our real panel is Paul and I talking about our, our work, and it's called Puppet Jedi Klingon Warriors, A Conversation. K-H-A-N. Paul thought of it. Uh, actually, my fiance, Haley. That's- uh, but that. that is tomorrow. That's when is that? Uh, Saturday that is tomorrow at, at uh, seven o'clock. Well, I mean, it sounds like I mean something like that definitely has a. I'm gonna say it's got a perfect home here. Yeah. Yeah, you know, with, with, with the bringing in the puns to your. your oh, you picked up on conversation. I, he fed it to me in my ear. I thought it was a and misspelling. And I wasn't sure what was going on there, but we, wow. we were fantastic that's with that. That's a very minuscule earpiece. You've yes, got it, it's, it's hidden. It's invisible. Technology. Been called, Science is amazing. 
I've been poisoning avocados for a month. Um, that would make sense. Also, <laughs> uh, upcoming is um, uh, Paul has helped me with a bunch of uh, shows for my YouTube channel, Puppets and Shit. Can it's, you say it's shit? The, it's the name of the YouTube channel. I don't know how to pronounce the asterisk. Shh. Puppets and, uh, puppets and things. Uh, uh, we'll figure it out. You can believe that. Victor out. also does a show called YouTube. <laughs> There's a show YouTube. called YouTube. That's Have my you heard of this YouTube logo thing? I came up with. <laughs> yes. But if you it's go a... to YouTube, which is just above my left nipple, uh -huh. and you type in that, then you'll see find... things like the Rufio show. Rufio show. And things like Evil Chef. Evil Chef. That's all. I just came to plug my stuff. All right. <laughs> Good luck with the rest of the interview. Sorry. All right. So, do you have? Are you? Do you already have Evil Chef content? Yes. Wow. No, actually, uh, yeah. in all honesty, this is a brand new character. Uh, so this is the first time you've had him out in this public. This is the first time I've ever put him on. And, Original. Uh, here we go. We're gonna shoot stuff tomorrow here at Dragon Con. I don't know what we're gonna shoot. That's the beauty of the shoot. But there's so many uh, <laughs> cool people here. I'm sure we'll find interesting people to talk to. A lot of the stuff I do is yeah. interviewee type, man on the street stuff. That, yeah, yeah, it's, it's kind of like, you need that, I guess, the banter from the common guy to throw it off. Yeah. Fair enough. All and right. people are, for some reason, a little more willing to tell a puppet things that they wouldn't uh, otherwise say. You know, that, that's just true in life in general, I've discovered. <laughs> like, I'm not going to talk to you, I'm just going to talk to you. And that's we're going to have a good chef. That's one of our other panels, Just Talk to the Puppet. Just Talk to the Puppet. Ask him, ask him what his deepest, darkest secret What's is. What's your deepest, darkest secret, Crispy? Deepest, darkest secrets? Well, since we're uh, here, and I, I guess I need to uh, talk about this in public, I've uh, I've had a fascination with felt since I was a child, and Whoa. and I'm not sure if it has anything to do with puppetry, Chef. So, really? Could be, Let's uh, talk about your sexual perversions further, Crispy. <laughs> what you know, do you do with the felt? <laughs> I feel them. I feel them a lot. Oh, he feels That's the right. Felt. I feel the felt. I, I, I become like one, exploration. one with the felt. <laughs> See, if I was if I was to do this, right? Don't. It's it weird. Would be, yeah, exactly. I could touch this guy's nipple all day long. There's a buffer there. We don't even know you. I could no, check no. out this skirt. What's under here, Crispy? That's it's not weird. weird. That's not weird at all. You because know Because I'm just an evil chef. Which is another show on Victor's channel. What's under the Crispy sh shirt? <laughs> skirt. The skirt. Co it's all coming right. to the YouTube oh. channel on puppets. It's hard to keep track. It is the day for that. So what's, what's, you said obviously you, you had the Sesame Street filming soon. Do you have any other bigger side projects? You know, he's got channel stuff. How can you one-up him? Yeah. Uh, I've got a piece I've been working on trying to edit for a year and a half. It's a uh, Bunraku. I like doing Bunraku Oh my God, yeah, 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 yeah. And I've shot some content for a, uh, a little piece that I have yet to edit, but hopefully that'll be coming out soon. Very cool. So, yeah. Can I just say, this yes. is, I don't know who, who watches, if there are many puppeteers we don't know or, or either. non puppeteers <laughs> but I will just say that Paul McGinnis, Besides just being a, a professional puppeteer that everybody you know has worked with, what? Paul is probably about the best tabletop manipulator that, that in, in the United States. Really not. It's very kind, but that's not true. He's amazing. Other We're countries, they're way better, that. but in the United States, Paul is Paul really is the guy. top of the line. It's not true. She's they had a fall You seem arguably embarrassed by this, 90s. actually. Well, no, I mean, Victor is very kind. <laughs> Watch, <laughs> show, him, show him the magic. Here, look, take the arms, Paul. Show him, look what he does. Wow! Oh, now I'm so alive! My, I'm so, so alive! Oh, my face itched. Shucks. <laughs> now it's itching again. Oh. That's teamwork. Well, gentlemen, on behalf of the convention, I want to say thank you for thank your you first much. year for both of you. Evil thank Chef. You. Thank you, Chris. Please don't poison me too soon. Uh, don't eat the avocados, Don't eat my the avocados. So, Dragon Con, avoid the avocados. Boom! Pop puppets and shit. Puppets and shit. Victor, Evil yes. Chef, Paul, good night, Bye. everyone. Bye! I'm an evil chef, Dragon Con!